Hey guys, it's been raining a lot this week. That's why I look like a lion today. No amount of frizz control could ever help this. Ever. So, since it's been raining a lot this week, and I haven't really felt good the last three days, I'm bumming it today. Da, 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 da. Yes, I am wearing guys' basketball shorts. And before anybody says anything, yes, I know they are guys' basketball shorts. I went to Walmart and bought them myself. I wear them because they are so much more comfortable than girls' basketball shorts. Well, now that we got that out of the way. So, last week I said that there would be a video about driving with Amber. I also said if it worked out. Yeah, that was fun. Here's, um, what happened. Look at that. Oh, my hope it stays there. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> We're all really um, having fun. Can I put this here? Um, for now? It's just throw it out the window. It's just a banana peel. Continue point seven <laughs> miles. <laughs> then turn right on Harris Road Southwest. Recalculating. Recalculating. I know, I know. Oh, Drive point seven miles, then turn left on Hurt Road Southwest. Oh, that's why. Does it need feet? that I got because it was only recording for like five minutes and all that happened yay I'm doing it again I say yay way too much so since it was a driving with Amber fail I guess I will just talk about the wedding it was a beautiful wedding and it was great but I'm socially awkward you know when you go into weddings and there's like the ushers or whatever that are supposed to take you to your seat? Well, I don't like that. That's like awkward to me. That and I was with my two friends and um, we didn't know anybody. So we, um, that would have just been awkward. So I was about to walk in, you know, to the place. This kid, he was like, Hey, would you like to be escorted? Uh, no, thank you. Oh, um, yeah, I'm super awkward. And he looked so crushed. But what made it even more awkward was he looked like he was like 14. And, um, it's awkward enough as it is. And then he reminded me of somebody. So, yeah that would have just made it even more awkward. And then I would have been separated from my friends for, like, who knows how long, and that would have been even more awkward because I would just be sitting there all by myself in a pew waiting for them to come. But, yeah, it was a beautiful wedding, and the reception was great. Um, but my friend Heather, she's allergic to peanuts. The reception was full of peanuts. Okay, it wasn't actually a reception. It was more like a meet and greet. Either way, it was filled with peanuts. Well, Heather's allergic to peanuts. Like, really, really
really, really allergic to peanuts. So me and Elise are flipping out. We're trying to keep her away from the peanuts. And she's okay at first, and then all of a sudden she starts feeling itchy, and she can feel it, and we're all like, oh great, she's going to die. Well, she didn't have an EpiPen with her. I love you, Heather, but you got to keep better track of those. And so it got to the point where we were worried, and we were like, okay, we need to step outside. She needs fresh air. So we got water, and we went outside and sat there in this really creepy alley staircase thing with a slug on the wall, which is quite terrifying because it was crawling towards me the entire time. But yeah, we sat in this creepy staircase alley thing right outside the room where the reception was. Everybody kind of started looking at us because it looked really sketch. We weren't doing anything, I promise. We were just trying to keep our friend from dying of a peanut allergy. But yeah, other than that, it was a really cute wedding. Everybody said, oh. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much how that weekend went. So, since this was an epic fail, I have a video that I'm going to be posting next Friday about my wonderful adventure at the North Georgia State Fair. Because it was just so great probably not. I will hopefully have it posted next Friday, and I will see you then. Bye! Oh, so I made a Facebook page. It's, um, you know, facebook.com slash amberdidit1000.page. It's dot page because I had an epic Facebook fail. You can also hit me up on Twitter at amberdidit1000, and um, Instagram at Amber Did It 1000, and I have a Tumblr now, which is Amber Did It 1000. Don't count for anything to really be done there, but you know, it's cool. Eeyore!